Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to Let's Try Retrograde. I have been looking forward to trying this game for ages. Uh, it was a, it's an indie game, it was a PS3 exclusive, and it's finally come to the PC via Steam, and I've been just incredibly, incredibly excited for this game. I think the concept is brilliant. We're going to hit play, and we're going to start right on the campaign, and we're going to start on, uh, uh, let's go medium difficulty, because it's not very big. So you play as Rick Rocket. And Rick Rocket has just defeated the Exnorian Armada, but the massive destruction caused a temporal anomaly, reversing the flow of time. He must undo his actions to save the space-time continuum. You'll see this game presents itself as your standard side-scrolling shoot 'em up game, right? Oh, we're blasting. We're at the final boss right now. We've just made our way through the entire game. We've defeated it wave after wave of enemy, and now, oh, we've just done it. We have defeated the final boss. We're awesome. We're sailing away into victory. The problem is, actually, no, there's not a problem yet. We've got to go through the you win screen, of course. Ah, victory, mmm, tastes so sweet. And then we even get credits. Look at that. We've just finished the game, and everything is awesome. But, as the, uh, the little teaser told us, there is going to be a space-time anomaly. And the destruction of this big ship and its explosion of its, I don't know, warp drive has caused time and space to rip itself apart. So what we have to do is we have to flow backwards through the entire game and undo everything that has happened. Every single enemy that we destroyed is going to undestroy itself and we're going to have to unfire our weapon at exactly the right time to undo the space-time continuum damage. This is not a side-scrolling shoot-em-up game, it is a rhythm game. It's much closer to something like Guitar Hero and DDR. So here I am firing the weapon with every pulse trying to time it correctly. This is, again, this is just on the medium difficulty, and there's quite a few higher difficulties above this one. But the idea is to get the pattern exactly right. These colored lights represent exactly when I need to fire my weapon, or rather unfire my weapon, so that I can destroy a ship at exactly the right time to undo the damage. Because if you miss your timing, then the space-time continuum will take a little bit of damage. And that is not good. If you take too much damage, you lose. You also undo your uh, your score bonus and different things like that. And I think I've already missed a little bit of it, but this is going to be incredibly hard to do while talking. Now, this is the PC version. I'm playing entirely with the keyboard at this time. In fact, you can almost certainly hear me slam the space bar every time uh, because, you know, hitting the button harder makes you better at the game. Um, <laughs> You can, if you have a, uh, a PlayStation or an Xbox or something like that, well, Xbox controller for sure, I can't, I suppose I can't vouch for the rest, you can plug those things directly into your computer because they're just USB ports and you can play these games with, um, with an Xbox controller, for example. But not only that, because this is a rhythm game that plays a lot like something like, say, Guitar Hero, you can actually plug in a Guitar Hero style controller and play the game that way and really play it as a real sort of musical... Um, rhythm game. And I love, I love the visuals, I love the light, what a great set of effects. Uh, the people who've worked on this game, it is, it is kind of an indie title, but the people who have worked on it are people with experience on some pretty big name games. Like, these are people who are not, um, oh, I did that wrong entirely. Um, what am I doing? Oh, it's supposed to be, sh I'm, I'm, these are bullets that I've dodged in the past, so I have to re-dodge them. Shoot, I took some damage there for nothing. And, let's see if I can keep dodging these things. Yeah, this is, uh, that's what all this is represented. Because, of course, the first time through, I did it flawlessly. I destroyed 100% of the enemies, and I didn't take any damage, apparently. So now I just got to keep dodging all this stuff. Oh, no! Shoot! I think, if I'm, if I'm not wrong, I believe I can re-fast-forward time, right? Just hold down N, and then I could go back to where I made that mistake. Where was it? I think that was far enough away. And now I can release N and start playing through the game normally again. Like, you've got such incredible time control. I, I What a brilliant idea for a game. I, I don't know, I can't... I, I think it's a brilliant concept. Am I going to be playing it forever? I don't know, I suppose on the... Oops, I, I gotta start shooting again. I suppose on the higher difficulties, it's probably got a lot of replay value. You know, you're trying to get those perfect scores on expert... Oh, that was just terrible. Um, anyway, check it out. It is available on Steam, and uh, I don't know. I guess more than anything else, the game designer in me is just in love. Oh no, God! Is just in love with the concept more than uh, more than anything else. But I don't know. Rhythm games are fun and challenging, and they can be pretty addictive. And then you can uh, I don't know post high score videos or something. And we 
do check it out. Again, it's available on Steam. I don't think they've got any plans to release it anywhere else at this time. I don't believe they have any plans at this time to release a Mac version. And uh, I also spoke to the developers, and right now, a uh, version for the Xbox and Wii is not in the cards. So only the uh, PS3 and the PC as well. So there you have it. Anyway, I will, uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye, folks.